Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Prediction. Um, there were a few talking points across the main week which I'm going to get down to in this video, so let's go ahead and make a start. Guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. I sell my merch link from my merch down in the description below to go for free to check it out after this video. Um, but as I said, a lot to talk about, and I want to get straight down to it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So guys, you know what I do, you, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Hull City versus Swansea. Um, Swansea joined 0-0 at home to QPR. Um, trying to sum that up in a Swansea perspective. Um, look at the table as well. Possibly a game that Swansea should have won, but it didn't quite happen. I'd probably say a point could be a fair result for both clubs. Um, I don't think none of them will go down. Anyone knows QPR are just nine points above the relegation zone. Um, Hull losing 3 0 away to Blackburn. Um, pretty much the way. You expect it to go. I can't remember what I predicted for that whole Blackburn game. Um, but you know, way you expect it to go, and uh, Hull are just 10 points above the relegation zone. Um, let's go over to the form table for both these teams. Hull City have only picked one point up in their last five games. Uh, Swansea have only picked up five points in their last five games, um, and they have not. Really, both these clubs really ain't got no form. Maybe a bit of confidence more on the Swansea side, but I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Nottingham Forest. Um, West Bromwich Albion is six points clear at the top with, um, you know, Leeds drawing away to Brenton. I'll get more dad to that in just a minute. Um, but West Brom beating Ready 2-1 away from home and Ready went 1-0 up in that game as well and were lucky to win that game, what I've heard. Um, Nottingham Forest losing 1-0 at home to Cheltenham Athletic. That's a big deal for Nottingham Forest. They had their chance to go second, as I've said, up after Leeds drawing away to Brentford. Um, but go over to a form table for both of these clubs. Nottingham Forest have only got seven points in their last five. West Brom uh, have picked up nine points from their last five games. So confidence wise, West Brom probably just a little bit more confident. But Nottingham Forest have got the chance to uh, go for second again if results go their way. But I think West Brom are going to win this game. And I'll go for a 3-1 West Bromwich Albion win. My next one is Birmingham versus Brentford. Brentford drawing 1-1 at home to Leeds. I've already mentioned that. Um, I'm going to talk more on the Brentford side in just a minute. Um, Birmingham beat Barnsley 1-0 away from home. Big three points for Birmingham there. Um, it leaves them 13 points off the drop. Um... Brentford went 1 0 up in that game, a keeper's holder, um, and it's exactly the same sort of thing with the Leeds goal. I think a point was a fair result for that game, if I'm all honest. Um, I don't think really Brentford turned up, I don't think Leeds really turned up either. Uh, that's why I say a point's a fair result. Um, go over to the full table, both these clubs. Uh, Brentford really did need those three points when they tried to go second and failed to do so, which leaves them on eight points after five games. Um, Birmingham doing slightly better, picking up 11 points from the last five games. Do I think this result's going to knock Brentford down a bit? I've got a funny feeling it will, and I'll go for a 1 0 Birmingham City win. My next one is Cardiff versus Wigan Athletic. Um, Wigan Athletic drawing 2-2 at home to Middlesbrough. Big three, big point, and a, you know it could be a big, big point for Wigan coming into the season. Will they reach safety? They're just four points away from safety now. Um, Cardiff beating Huddersfield 3-0 away from home. Um, 
you know, but um, Cardiff currently sitting in eight, 49 points, um, 11 points at their last five. Wigan have picked up seven points from their last five games. As I said, Wigan are just four points away from safety now. Um, will they get there? Only time will tell. Uh, I don't think there's no more, ca no, no more catch-up games in the championship. This game could be slightly interesting on the matter of one or two reasons. One is Cardiff could get closer to the playoffs. The other reason is Wigan could do it and get closer to safety. Um, but because of the last few results, I'm going to go for a Cardiff City win. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Cardiff City win. My next one is Charlton Athletic versus Blackburn. Um, Charlton Athletic beating Nottingham Forest 1 0 away from home. Blackburn beating Hull City 3 0 at home. Um, Blackburn have picked up 10 points out of their last five games. Charlton have picked up. Seven points from their last five games off each. I'm gonna go for a Blackburn win and I'm gonna go for a 2 1 Blackburn win. My next one is Derby versus Huddersfield. Derby um, losing 3 2 away to Bristol City. Um, Huddersfield losing 3 0 at home to Cardiff. Um, Huddersfield have, you know, let themselves go um, over the past few weeks. Okay, they got seven points from their last five games, um, but only five points off the drop. Um, was it right, Saki David Wagner? Um, obviously, only time will tell. Um, Derby losing 3 2 away to Bristol City. Um, Derby got nine points from their last five games. I'm expecting Derby to get back on winning ways, and I'll go for another two-one scoreline for that one. My next one is Fulham versus Barnsley. Um, Fulham drawing one-one away to Millwall. Big talking point in that game. I'll get down to that in just a minute. Um, Barnsley losing 1 0 at home to Birmingham City. Right, um, I want to talk about this Millwall goal. Was it offside? You know, what I saw, I believe it did come off the Millwall player. I know it's hard to call. Um, I, ain't, like, I ain't taking anything out on the line, Millwall or the rare for this is why VARs needed football, no matter how many of you saying it's ruining the game. It's not the actual VAR that's ruining it. It's the laws they're bringing in um, to the game. Um, just to sum it up, um, when people go about, you know, VARs ruining the game of football, that'd be like blaming your PS4 or your Xbox or your PC where you lose 20 games of FIFA. Um, the computer does not make the walls up, unfortunately. I can see where you're coming from. I, you know, I've had it more than once this season, but it's not actually the VAR's fault. What, why they're bringing all these laws in? Um, but yeah, big talking point. Um, I think the point was a fair result overall, but you know, it's going to be interesting if or when it does come into the championship. And um, I watch it week in week out in the Premier League, I watch it abroad and I I feel more confident as a fan and I know it might take out the goal celebrations or anything else like that but you know you celebrate and I'll go away for I'll check it overall it but um, I'd rather have it than not but that goal last night is all proved my point why I like it and I'll feel more confident with it in the game. Um, but anyway, back to this game. Um, Fulham, currently third, 56 points. Had a chance to overtake leagues last night for one against Millwall. Um, Barnsley, currently sit at the bottom, nine points away from safety. Barnsley have only picked one point up from their last five games. 
I'm going to predict Fulham to win this game. Not only they have to win it, really. Um, but I'm going to go for a 3-0 Fulham win. My next one is Leeds United versus Bristol City. Um, Bristol City beating Dover County 3-2 at home. Great three points for Bristol City. Leeds United drawing 1-1 away from home to Brentford. Big point that could be for Leeds. Um, where are Bristol City? Sitting in seven outside the plus or goal difference. Um, Bristol City have currently picked up 12 points from their last five games. Leagues have only picked up four points from their last five games. I'm going to predict Bristol City to win this one. And I'm going to go for a 1 0 Bristol City win. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Luton. Middlesbrough drew 2 2 away to Wigan Athletic. Um, trying to sum that up on a you know, Middlesbrough perspective on a world do at the minute. Um, Luton beating Sheffield Wednesday 1 0 away from, um, sorry, at home. Big three points for Luton. Could they reach safety? They are only seven points away from safety. Um, so basically, three wins and three step ups from Stoke. Um, Luton will be out of there. Um, you know, let's go talk about this minutes for a point. Uh, against Wigan. I think that point was slightly disappointing from Middlesbrough's perspective. They've only put three points up from their last five games. Uh, Wigan, uh, Luton, sorry, have picked up six points from their last five games. So I'm going to go for a Luton win. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Luton win. My next one is. Preston North End versus Millwall. Millwall drawing 1 1 at home to Fulham. Um, I can't believe they played on Sunday either um, with Millwall and that storm we've had. I found that a shocking decision. Um, the Premier League game was cancelled. Um, Man City West Ham, and yet a Championship game played on. I don't get how they come to some of these decisions decisions but AOA played on with it and I think that was another draw um, I have a look at a minute um, Preston North End beating Stoke City 2-0 away from home um, no, Mill lost that game uh, I can't remember who it was against but going up against a very good Preston side this week um, Preston have picked up 13 points from their last 5 games Millwall have only picked up 5 points from their last 5 games I'm expecting Preston to win this one, and I'll go for 2 0 Preston win. My next one is QPR versus Stoke City. Um, Stoke City losing 2 0 at home to Preston. Um, QPR drawing 0 0 away to Swansea. I think that's a good point for QPR. Um, as I said, losing 9 points above the drop. Stoke. Um, you know, only four points off the drop. That's you know, Stoke only picked up nine points from their last five games. QPR have only picked up four points from their last five games. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Reading. Um, Reading losing two-one at home to West Bromwich Albion. Sheffield Wednesday losing 1 0 away from home to Luton. Um, this is my last one as well. Um, Sheffield Wednesday disappointing day at Luton. Um, Sheffield Wednesday are 14 points from the drop. Um, Reading, you know, I can't say it's a disappointing day for Reading because West Brom are on top of the league and that and uh, Reading have only picked up three points from their last five games. I'm gonna go for a very nitty, very gritty nil nil scoreline for that one. Anyway guys, you know what to do, give us a big fat comment if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.